on the people. And it wouldn't work. The manipulation wouldn't work because now you're just functioning as what we are, which is energy. So everybody may seem different, but everybody know their purpose and where to where they fit in. In a in a world, in a so-called world that we are taught, right? A world or a universe that is so massive, it is limitless. So when you see the mind and body, the two popping up on the screen, you hear in the, you hearing it in the rhythm and the beat and all this type of stuff, know the energy, right? That is being transmitted to you. There's only nine numbers. And you play with those nine numbers and you could transmit all, all kinds of frequencies. All kinds. The good thing about it is that there's nothing in nature that you could number. So where did numbers come from? It was all taught. I know that people can't go beyond what they've been taught. Why? Right? Because even if you dream and you could describe it, that's what you've been taught. You've been taught that dream. Right? You see it, see so many parts of it play out that you create your own and you dream that shit. And you could describe it. It's what you've been taught. It's not something from the future or anything like that. And now depending on what? How strong your belief is, is how hard you're going to work to get it. What happens if we choose to know? Just like the body, right? The body knows everything that's happening. Everything it needs to do. The body is a cellular structure. It's made out of cells. Um, and the cells range in density, depending on going from bone to tissue to marrow, all the different names. But we're talking about earth, water, air, and fire. The physical. And every cell in the body knows its purpose. It knows what to do. So what happened to, to, to us? Right? We have, G, we have been GMO'd, genetically modified into humans by manipulation of the mind. By right? being taught words and meanings when we know for a fact that it's just energy. So that means the language that we speak the language that we could describe everything has to be an energy as well because this is how we communicate. And this is why words don't have true meaning. You could use them anywhere, anytime, anyhow. It's the being that use the words who amplify it. The words is dead. You don't use words, they're dead. But here we are, highly intelligent, because we could retain more of what we've been taught. I'm just saying, what about what we know?